Emily Blunt was disappointed by her Disney fairytale moment with her husband, John Krasinski. There is an increase in Emily Blunt. After three incredible performances in Disney's Jungle Cruise with Dwayne Johnson, Saving Mr. Banks starring Tom Hanks, and Mary Poppins Returns, the movie actress has become a household name among Disney fans. On the other hand, Blunt has a lengthy history in Hollywood. Her parts in critically praised films like The Devil Wears Prada and A Quiet Place, co-starring with her husband John Krasinski, will be familiar to many fans. With 2010, 40-year-old Emily Blunt wed the 43-year-old actor and director John Krasinski, who had made his Disney debut with the 2013 film Monsters University. Despite the fact that Krasinski has been well-known for films such as Marvel's Doctor Strange and The Multiverse of Madness and 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi, the majority of viewers will always remember John Krasinski's portrayal of Jim in The Office, the hugely successful American adaptation of the BBC sitcom. Despite Emily Blunt's affiliation with Disney, the actress recently revealed, as reported by Fandom Wire, that her first meeting with her spouse was not the kind of idyllic encounter one might anticipate from The Office. For those who don't know, Jen Fisher plays Pam, the receptionist for Jim's paper supply firm, and Krasinski's character is in love with her. The only issue is that Krasinski would rejoin with Roy, a warehouse worker portrayed by David Denman. During the making of 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi, Pam is engaged to him. Jim, a charming and romantic man, has to put up with being Pam's friend for years until their chance to be together eventually presents itself. Fisher and Krasinski have a really special and sincere bond during production, which even persuaded Blunt that the actor must be very similar to his on-screen persona.